by Carlton. Question: What is pollination? Pollination is when one animal passes pollen from another flower to another flower to another flower. Importance of bees. Specifically, an ornithida, the honeybee, is able to make this sweet-tasting nectar that they make it and they turn it into honey. This is what all bees do. All bees、um, collect pollen, pollen, and the pollen gets stuck on the the furriness of the bees, and it transfers that pollen to another flower. Native bees of Minnesota. The green sweat bee. The green sweat bee is a type of bee that is also that is native to Minnesota. This bee is called the sweat bee because it goes on people's foreheads and st- and starts to lick the sweat, not for the sweat, but looks for the salt that's in the sweat. What what this Google what this green sweat bee also does is most most of the time it's the females that survive winter and it's the males that most of the time die in the winter time. The cook the cuckoo bee. The cookie, the cookie bee, lays lays its eggs in another、um, hive's nests and lets the hive, the other hives, reproduce it and do all the work while the cuckoo bee invades it and sometimes will even kill the queen in order to lay its eggs. And it eats also sometimes the other bees' larvae. Fact, fun fact. Digger bees. A digger bee is a type of bee that is native to Minnesota. This bee is also known as long-horned bees. Are large, usually fuzzy, and that are found all over the world. There are thousands of species of digger bees. They're they're also excellent pollinators. They're said to be even more beneficial than hun- honey bees. Some other pollinators. A hummingbird is an example of another pollinator. Hummingbirds and other birds, how they pollinate is when they go for the sweet nectar, they get pollen on their faces, and when they go to another flower, they they pol- they accidentally pol- pollinate the other flower as well by transferring that p- pollen from the other flower to the next flower. Butterflies and other insects like beetles also pollinate the same way bees do. They go for the they go for the sweet nectar, accidentally get pollen around their fuzzy bodies. Then, when they go to another flower, they transfer it to that other flower and accidentally. Small mammals, like for an example, this rat here. Um, how it pollinates. This is an also another one of the, another pollinators. How it pollinates is when it goes for the sugary nectar. Pollen gets trapped around its fuzzy body, and then it accidentally transfers it to others. Small mammals do this, including this picture one here. Threats to pollinators. The varroa destructor mite. The varroa destructor mite is a tiny mite that is just one to one point six millimeters long. Which enters the hive on an adult bee, then crawls and takes up residence in a beeswax cell that contains that contains the young bee larva. It leaves open wounds and putting various viruses, including the deformed wing virus. This, as a consequence, redu- is reducing the numbers of bees that are left. Pesticides. Pesticides. Is a chemical that us humans use to get rid of pests that are meant that are insect repellent, animal repellent, anti and fung and fungicide repellent. We put we put these in our fruits and veggies to keep these bugs away. But on accident, we this gets in the nectar, and then the bees when they come and take that nectar, this then they become infected and either die and per and per. Why monoculture is bad? Monoculture. Is the replacement of natural forest with pine monoculture. Pine monoculture is farming. How this affects bees is that it increases the pesticide use, and when the bees come to drink that nectar, they become drunk, either lose their way home or just or they die. And there's not enough wild, there's not enough beekeepers to take care of this monoculture. Bee, bee add COVID virus. Not using pesticides on your on your plants will help the bees. So when they come and plant pollinate your fruits and veggies, they don't get dr- 
look sick and die. And you should plant bee-friendly flowers. So then when the bees come and pollinate, they'll get fresh, sweet nectar. So then they'll be able to make honey. Next time you see a hive in your backyard, don't call a bee exterminator. Next time, call a beekeeper. And this beekeeper will slowly take the bees away without having to kill the bees. By Carlton.